and good morning Country Mouse Walkers. Today I am in Thursby, which is in Lincolnshire. And quickly, before I forget, um, the three word starting point is resides, bookshop, bottled. Uh, again, I'm doing that quickly because I wasn't intending to start a walk here but my last walk through the old part of Fursby and Fursby Clough um, took me longer than I thought. So ended up um, finishing that one early and I'm going to do another one through the new part of Fursby which is generally just referred to as Fursby. So just uh, look over, see if we can see anything on this lake, which uh, there's a lot of bird call and splashing about going on, but I can't see anything. So, Fursby is about eight miles from Skegness, five miles from Spilsby. If you've seen my last Fursby Clough walk, I don't want to go over the same things again, as do that as little as possible. But um, well, I can see some ducks out there now, through the trees, but I don't think I can get a clear shot of them with my camera. Right, so the part of Fursby we're heading into now, we're walking besides the watercourse, and uh, which you can't actually see very clearly as you can tell from the road it's all sort of grown up it's private land as well so it's not some way that you can go and walk and visit so I'm going to be using a combination of public roads and public footpaths for our walk. Now this part of Fursby was one of the biggest railway stations and hubs that uh, existed in the mid to late 19th century and the early 20th century. There's n not a lot, nothing really remains, um, some buildings which have been reused or um, now private houses, but the history about Fursby Station it's surprising there isn't more to it. So, as we make our way up there, it was the second phase in the East Lincolnshire Railway, the ELR, um, that came from Grimsby, and it was the Grimsby Cleethorpes to King's Cross line. And uh, it opened in September 1848. Then, and then uh, the third stage to Boston, which went on to Lincoln. But also there was a branch line off between Fursby and Boston that went off to Lincoln as well. Um, opened uh, the following month in October 1848. Then slightly after that in 68 I think 1868 there was a branch line put into Spilsby 
So that gave direct access, well, not direct access, but it gave access to London trains from people at Spilsby. And then in 71, 1871, the line was extended through to Wayne Fleet. Again, giving access. And then final stage in that direction, 1873, the train went to went to Skegness. The issue with the Skegness one at the time was that you had to reverse the train into Fursby and then change trains and move the train back out again. So I apologise if you've seen my other walk but they applied for a curve to be put into the line so trains could go directly from Boston to Skegness and that was completed around 1880. So um, they were given permission for it in 1874, didn't do it, and then and then completed it in 1880, and given permission in 1881. So, but the station here was really big, and dealt with passengers, freight. There was three platforms, all about 200 meters. Which is 220 yards long. A uh, bridge over the track, which was built um, I can't remember not late 1880s I think. Um, and then there was restaurants, restrooms, a water tower, uh, a railway hotel, railway uh, two known pubs, one, a third one they believed a brewery that was built right next door to the railway. So it was a massive hub. And the road we're coming up to now, surprisingly enough, is called Station Road. So so there are some old houses that would have been around the time. But, uh, but nothing, uh, only very few that are actually part of the existing. So we're on the main road now. is the B1195 that runs from and across over from Skegner, so, sorry, from Waynefleet to Spilsby. The house you can see over there is built on the level crossing junction and the reason it sits at that angle is because that was the angle to the track bed and you can see where the track bed would have laid next to it. Now we're just passing the house which is the only remaining station house of that was left and that is the only, it's a private house, that's the only station building. Again, straight track bed. And the building you can see there 
is part of the remaining North Station and unfortunately now that is really all that remains of the station. I believe this building here was the old railway hotel but I can't seem to get confirmation of that from anyone. So the station itself, the line to Spilsby ceased public transport. In, in 1939. Morning. And uh, the station was starting to take a decline then due to the fact that, well, <laughs> you know, transport transport um, on the roads was becoming more and more popular. It had a resurgence though during the Second World War because Spilsby RAF base was built just just over to the northwest. And uh, so right, I'm just going to take the pathway down the side of this bungalow. I may edit this bit out. too bad. I always feel awkward walking down the side of somebody's house. And uh, yeah, so from 1943 to 1958 it was used primarily by the RAF and the USAF. I've got that right, I hope. United States Air Force, yes. Uh, so, coming and going. So, so that was good. Kept it going, kept it alive for quite a long time. The Spilsby bit of the line still continued to carry a good service until 58, 1958 when it was closed. And then, in 1970, Beecham's Courts closed Spilsby and all the surrounding stations apart from the Waynefleet line station to Skegness from Boston. And by 71, all the track all the houses have been demolished, all the station have been demolished apart from the buildings I've shown you a few minutes ago. So a real shame. And now the little bit of Furs Beat we've just walked through is basically it. It's a lineal village either side of the main road with the old Furby cloth pulling away from the side, going over to the Steeping River. A very quiet area. Very, very nice place to live. Good commuting place from Um, from here to places like Spilsby, Boston, Skegness, 
Horncastle. It's grown quite a bit, there's a, quite a lot of few new houses and things around. Um, so, this year's been sent this year. It'd be interesting to see how many residents it's now got, because I think it was about 278 at the last one. And about 240 the one before. So, just spin around very gently. The building you can see, the new building there, that is the building that was built on the land from the end of the original station, the, where I was showing you the, the old building that you could just see, part of the north station. Besides that, there's very little sign of any tracks running through this area until you get um, Gumby Way, um, one of my Gumby walks, I've walked part of the track there, and once you get Horncastle Woodhall Spa, the old tracks there have now been made into walking paths. So the path I'm taking now um, follows the field line up to here. Um, looking at the arrows and the path, it must go straight on. And this has taken us out to old RAF Spilsby. Once again, it's not marked very clearly. The arrow pointed straight on, but it's possible that people have been walking around the edge of the field rather than across it. I hope I'm not going to get into trouble for doing this. Just following the hours. <laughs> so you do occasionally find farmers that don't mark out the fields. Simply, I think they hope that if they're not parked people won't use them but unfortunately if they're public right of ways as long as you're sticking to the path there's not a lot they can do uh, unless they're not overly used and then of course it becomes difficult to use them and people stop then You need good walking boots if you're out here. I've actually put my wellies on today because I thought it'd be more muddy than it actually is. And where's the path? Oh, I can see it. And right this moment I'm thankful I have got my wellies on. Walking through a freshly ploughed field is a bit Hard going. Not the sort of path you could do if you weren't steady on your feet.
I'd like to thank you why I've got the opportunity and why I remember for walking with me. Please like, please subscribe, please look at my other walks and please leave a comment. It's great to get comments from people who just love the outdoor space. We've also got those that have memories from this area, which are always great to read. And uh, looks like somebody's put a tree swing here. Looks like fun. So I'm not sure if I said we're still in lockdown here in the UK, but we're about to start coming out. Uh, schools are going back on Monday. You can meet someone for coffee outside. At the end of the month, groups can of six, two households can meet. So hopefully this is the start of moving forward. Uh, this area here doesn't look very attractive. I know, but I just wanted to show it you as it's now from above it looks a bit like a figure of eight and I'm sure somebody would be able to tell me exactly but it's part of the old RAF base um, and it was near some sheds so I presume it's where they turned planes or maneuvered vehicles they did at one point use it as a HGV training ground. So if you have any information on it, I've had a quick look and you can't find much out. It's one of the only areas left of RAF Spilsby. So I have done an RAF Spilsby walk which is started over in that direction towards Great Steeping as the um, there was a crossroads of runways so I'm now going to take the walk back into Fursby, a bit shorter this one, it's only about 25 minutes long, but I think if I'd have put the two together, Fursby Clough and Fursby, it may have been too long in one go, which uh, people seem to prefer them being about 30 minutes long. And as we head back this way, the sun's pointing at us. So I don't know if that's blinding you or not, hopefully not too much. I'm not going to take the path, I'm going to take the road back into the top end of Frisney. Sorry, Fursby. Getting my villages mixed up now. <laughs> So once again, I'm going to thank you for walking with me. If you've liked, subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, please do so. If the notification bell's there, please ring it and it'll let you know when I've got new videos coming out. So once again, it's lovely having you walk with me. 
hope if you're in lockdown or just coming out of lockdown or whatever state of the world lockdown you're in that you're all keeping safe all your loved ones are safe and uh, hopefully things are starting to look positive for everybody so please join me again take care look after yourselves bye